Vanessa Rata Pichaninis. How are you? I'm good. Um, just had a little Friday night at work. Got home not too long ago. Um, did a little manic cleaning. <laughs> Made myself sit down to uh, calm down enough to do the video. So, uh, yeah, you know, I realized like last Thursday or this past Thursday, we didn't do our little Thirsty Thursday um, romance reading. Um, that we've done a couple of times recently, which was fun. But today's card sort of merited a follow-up extended reading woo, with the romance angels. And we're going to um, talk to the dolphins and mermaids too and get them to give us some advice. But so our card for today and for the weekend is 10 of cups. Hello, look at this. All kinds of happiness and fulfillment and joy and health and Things are going well in your relationships and your friendships and your familial relationships, maybe even your romantic relationships. The cup suit. <clears throat> throw everything. <laughs> throw the couch. Throw the flip the table. <laughs> um, the the cup suit is all about the affairs of the heart, relationships, emotions. So this card is the culmination of the entire emotional journey of the six suit, or sorry, the cups suit. So the 10 of cups is like, this is sort of like the rainbow after the great flood, the promise that um, things, prosperity is coming, that, that peace and harmony and um, well-being are here for the taking. So this is like heaven on earth, everything feels nice, everything feels in its place um as it should be and yeah it's just a it's just cause for celebration it's a languid time to be grateful for there's really not a whole lot of in-depth um interpretation here other than something is working out really well um if there is something specific on your mind it's a good sign that things are going um, very well in that department and um as it stands it could be something very fulfilling. Um, this could literally mean a long-term relationship that goes really well and is very satisfying. So let's follow up. So since our house and home and kingdom are all doing well, let's just get some more um, confirmation on that from the romance. Angel. You know what? Let's save the romance angels. For next, let's see if there's anything that we need to be aware of in general housekeeping for um, just keeping our life organized, um, the career and finances, anything that we need to know involving our uh, main goals right now. Time to move on. It's time to let go of an old of an old worn out. Like there's no noun there. Hold on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So that's perfect because we are really finally out of the old 2021 cycle. All of the astrological cycles are finished. We are fully in airy season. So anything that's just like you're over and done with and you're ready to move forward and leave it in the past, like leave the past in the past and move forward and move on into 2022. New energy is here, new experiences new everything is uh, just the vist the vistas have opened and expanded and this really is a whole new cycle for the next you know greater phase of our life and it's we're, i think we're really set up to do well and for things to go well uh, which is really great so if something isn't really fulfilling for you if you're not super into it if you're like burnout with your you know career and you want you want a new change if you're ready for change in your whatever environment this is a good time to do it we are literally creating the life of our dreams as we move forward um i've literally devoted this year to only focusing on my first choice <laughs> no backup plans not for a year okay and we're gonna gauge it when we get to the end of the year and maybe i'll just keep going but for now i would say follow what truly lights you up follow what feels right for you follow what feels good to you um anything that's not really deeply fulfilling anything that's not making you feel ten of cups move on moving on let's do three of each deck Okay, anything else? Anything else we need to know for our goals? 
career and money. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. This is so true. Tonight is a perfect example. I'm at work and I have determined that in this job, this new fresh start for me, I am only taking like a positive attitude and positive thoughts to work. I have learned that getting salty, getting negative, complaining, it sucks the life out of me. It sucks all my energy. It sucks all my joy. And so far for the past few months, I have been successful at going in and just like staying positive no matter what happens. I'm just like, well, whatever, like it's all good. It is all good. No matter what is happening, I'm like, this is great. I love this. So tonight I go in and I'm like, ooh, you know, I'm feeling like it's probably going to be like slow for a Friday because it's slightly chilly here in Nashville. And once you're, we're ready for the warm weather, we're like, if it's like the temperature slightly drops, we're all just like in our parkas again and no one's going anywhere. And we're all under blankets for ordering in. So I wasn't thinking that this was going to be like the big bawling night or whatever, but that's okay. Cause that's not what I was in the mood for anyway. And I was just, I, I said my prayers before I went in. I know some of you have, uh, who have heard me talk about this before, but I've been um, praying to Jesus. Jesus, like pretending he's in my passenger seat on the way to work and just talking to him about what kind of shift that I'm looking forward to. And so I set my intention tonight and I said it, I'm like, I'm going to have high value tables. I'm not going to have a lot of like crazy running around, I'm not going to get like a bunch of double seats. Like it's just going to be a nice pace the whole night. And, <laughs> um, and it was, and then like all the people around me that are usually like, drama queens or like negative they were having a terrible night as usual as they always do and that's what I used to be like in my past Liz like back way a long time ago when I worked at a restaurant before I was always just like fucking spitting nails I was always so mad and then my my tables would get worse and worse throughout the night and I was bringing it on myself and so it, this is such an interesting place to be back like full circle but like completely a different person and watching it play out Every single thing that I want, it just unfolds. So lately, I think the, the manifestation power is turned up, and especially if you've been doing all the work that we've been doing on ourselves and just like unblocking a lot of that emotional baggage that's been holding us down. So watch your thoughts. Think about what you want to happen. Um, focus on what's good. And yeah, don't get caught up in neurotic thoughts. Don't get caught up in fear. Don't get caught up in scarcity. Just keep thinking everything's unfolding the way it's supposed to. Everything's going really well. And think about, like dream about your desired effect. Dream about the result that you want. And then actually speak the result that you want. Put that out into the universe and call it in. We're conjuring what we want, people. All right, one last card for career and money. I love money. Oh, this one's come out. Ooh, break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So yeah, with this whole time to move on thing, there might be something that you've been a bit bored with or something that you're ready to branch out and do some extra, right? Or maybe you're starting to get your footing a little bit in this new chapter and you're ready to expand a little bit and take on a little bit more, um, put a little bit more on your plate. So maybe you've been getting um, one overall part of your plan established or working on part of your dream and there's an additional portion that needs to come in, another step that needs to happen. Maybe it's time to, to take that step. <clears throat> Break free. Um, when you're making career choices, consider how free you want to be and how flexible your job needs to be and like literally the logistics of like what that would require for you to have the level of freedom that you want because we are sort of curating the life that we really want right now and as you're thinking about your career it's good to think about the day-to-day -day, like how you want it to feel how you want it to go 
um, how much time you want to spend, what, what part of the day that do you want to work on? You know, um, these were all things that I considered when I actually happened upon this restaurant job that I've got, like it's close to my house. Like it's, it's only a few hours in the evening. Like, you know what I mean? Like there were all the things like, I didn't necessarily think, Oh, I want to go work at a restaurant. But when I considered all of the things that I wanted that it offered me, I was like, Oh, okay. It's perfect. So get creative, think outside the box. Get clear on the essence of what you want and then be open to the form that it shows up in. All right. Romance. Ra, ra, ooh, la, la. Okay, what do we need to know about keeping that Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups. Ooh, this could be the one. Ooh. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Ooh, who might that be? You deserve love. You are lovable. And the more that you know you deserve love, the easier love will met, like magnetically come towards you. If you think you don't deserve love, that's the most dangerous because even if love finds you and you think that you don't deserve it, you will fall back into your self-defeating tendencies or your negative behavioral patterns um, because your subconscious is going to try to self-sabotage you. So if you can't receive love, then you will self-sabotage whatever like love thing is happening. Um, Equally true for someone you're trying to give your love to. If they can't receive your love, if they don't think they deserve it, then they will sabotage and blow everything up and ruin it. So, um, it's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know. You can't, like, get somebody to be able to re receive love. That's kind of like the healing work that they have to do on their own. So, um, where were we? You deserve love. Remember that. And so do I. And so does everyone. And we're all deserving love, people. We are very, very lovable. And then let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So maybe um, <laughs> grab a buddy. Tell a friend. Uh, maybe you should... I don't know, talk to some friends about whatever your, your love life is throwing at you these days. Maybe they've got some insight for you. Huh? Maybe a trusted helper. Okay, guys, let's, let's review. Um, just in case you were wondering, everything's going fucking perfect. <laughs> everything's going great. Um, even if appearances are worrisome, no need to worry. As the cards have been telling us constantly for weeks, like, no need to worry. <laughs> Everything's good. It's all rainbows. Um, for your career, watch your thoughts. Keep your mind on what you want and nothing else. Move on from any stuck, stagnant situations that aren't fulfilling you anymore or that aren't working out or that are a waste of your time or that are inefficient. Break free, set up your life and your work and your career so that it makes you feel free. It, may, it sets you up for more freedom financially and as far as like time goes, time, space, like distance, place, wherever you are, like maybe you want freedom. Consider what you want for yourself and then try to, try to find something that will give you what you want, you're wanting. That's something that's fulfilling for you. And also, um, don't be afraid to uh, broaden your skills, explore new ways to bring in income. And if you are in the middle of building something now, it might be time to um, expand and go to that next step. And um, I guess go to the next step in the plan. <laughs> I got distracted and then like, that was it. That was more than I, my, my mind could, <laughs> could give up with. And then let's see. Oh, and for love, this could be the one. <laughs> um, you deserve love. So this could be the one. You deserve it. So don't like, don't do anything to ruin it. And then let your friends help. Turn to a trusted friend for advice and then make sure that there's a little angel baby um, polishing your crystal ball and that someone's doing your hair and you've got people sitting at your feet listening to your every word. <laughs> All right, cool, guys. Well, 
I'm going to eat the dinner that I made last night. I made a big pot of, I don't know, kind of an impromptu curry. It was like a coconut curry dish that I, that I made with some ginger and cilantro and chickpeas and ground turkey. And it was just sort of a guess, onion, garlic. It, it turned out really, really good. So I'm going to have that and I don't know, find something good to watch. What did I start watching last night? I finished Miss Maisel. Now I can't really remember what I started watching after that, which always worries me when I sometimes I test myself and I'm like, what am I wearing right now? And I'm like, I have no idea. I can't remember. It's all a blank. So yeah, I must have been watching something last night, but I can't remember. Did I watch an old movie? It'll hit me. Doesn't even matter. All right. Ciao, Bellas.